uh, it's a little bit more information about the organization of the skeletal muscle. So, uh, epimesium that wraps around the whole muscle, it contains its own blood supply and uh, nerve. So, you can see the blood vessels are here, and this is a nerve. Uh, and it is made of uh, uh, collagen fibers. Uh, then, uh, as I said before, um, the muscle itself is made of multiple muscle fascicles. These are the muscle fascicles, so this is one muscle fascicle, and that is wrapped by a perimesium, and perimesium contains, again, uh, smaller arteries and uh, nerve fibers, uh, and it's made of uh, elastic and collagen fibers. Uh, then the muscle fascicle is made of these uh, muscle fibers, and each muscle fiber, which is here, is now wrapped by a different type of connective tissue. This elastic connective tissue. And um, uh, this one contains capillaries and uh, myosatellite cells. Uh, inside the muscle fiber, which is the same as the muscle cell, uh, you, can, you have myofibrils. So this is the myofibrils, and, and, and this is... Uh, a larger view of a myofibril, and myofibril is wrapped by a sarcoplasmic reticulum. This thing that you see, this blue area, this is sarcoplasmic reticulum. Uh, and the myofibril is made of a thick and thin filament. So this blue uh, uh, line that you see, this is a thick filament, and the red one that you see, uh, this is a thin filament. And uh, from this area to this area, uh, it's called sarcomere. So, uh, one muscle uh, uh, fiber is, uh, has a lot of myofibrils, and one myofibril has a lot of uh, sarcomeres. Um, so the muscle fibers develop uh, from mesodermal cells. Um, these are embryonic cells, and they uh, convert and they become myoblasts. So these are the myoblasts. Uh, many myoblasts fuse together and uh, they become an immature muscle uh, fiber uh, but sometimes some of those uh, myoblasts will not fuse and they stay outside uh, near the immature muscle fiber and they are called uh, myosatellite cells. Uh, these are the stem cells. Uh, so later on these um, many myoblasts that fuse together that becomes a mature muscle fiber which is really long um, a nerve cell is the longest cell in the body and the muscle fibers are the second long, longest cells in the body. Uh, so uh, they contain uh, hundreds of nuclei. Uh, again, it varies from one muscle fiber to another, so some may have less than 100. And um, it is striated, so these lines that you see, this is the striation. And these are the striation, these lines that you see. Uh, again, you see that under microscope uh, striation, that is because of overlap of thin and thick filaments. And these uh, dots that you see, these are the nuclei. So it is multinucleated, striated, and it has, um, it is voluntary movement. Uh, one more thing is about the myosatellite cells. So in case the, the, the muscle is injured, these myosatellite cells become enlarged and then divide and they fuse uh, with uh, muscle fiber. So it, it uh, uh, helps repairing the muscle fiber. If the muscle fiber is totally damaged, it cannot be repaired. So this is unlike um, epithelial tissue or connective tissue that can be repaired but uh, muscle cells and the nerve cells, if this damage is severe, they cannot be repaired. There are some exceptions in the nerves, but um, muscle cells and nerve cells usually, they, they don't repair once they're damaged. So there are specific characteristics of the skeletal muscle. One is called sarcolemma. Sarcolemma is the uh, plasma membrane. And the plasma membrane covering the, the cytoplasm, and the cytoplasm is called uh, sarcoplasm. Uh, and one of the features of the muscle fibers is that it has a, 
the difference in the membrane potential so inside and outside of the cell has a different membrane potential uh, one and once it is stimulated by a nerve it can uh, uh, you know transmit and uh, the electrical activity inside the uh, muscle fiber and that will cause contraction of the muscle fiber uh, at the same time so the whole muscle fiber will contract it's not just uh, random parts of it the whole muscle fiber will contract um, there is also the t-tubule that is there so the t-tubules these are the t-tubules that you can see uh, this is the invagination of the uh, sarcolemmar plasma membrane so this is the plasma membrane and this is invagination it's like a glove uh, that goes inside uh, the cell and wraps around this uh, myofibril. So these are the myofibril. So wraps around the myofibril. It goes all the way everywhere. And, and, and these are all um, also the, the T-tubules. Um, so uh, the function of the T-tubule is to um, transmit electrical activity inside the cell. Um, and once the inside the cell uh, all of the muscle fibers are activated all of them can co contract at the same time uh, so um, it, it's not just uh, stimulating the peripheral um, myofibrils it will stimulate all myofibrils uh, of a muscle fiber at the same time so this is why it goes all the way if uh, these T-tubules t -t 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 were not there then only the superficial these ones would have been activated because they are close to um, sarcolemma but the deeper ones would not have been activated so that's why you have this mechanism uh, so the sarcoplasmic reticulum this thing that you see this blue uh, structure that you see this is the uh, sarcoplasmic reticulum this is the same as uh, endoplasmic reticulum it contains uh, calcium so it is important uh, source uh, during muscle contraction. Without the calcium, the muscle cannot contract. Uh, so the calcium that is in the sarcoplasmic reticulum is released and then it will contract. Uh, as you can see these areas, the end it become enlarged. So these are the enlarged chambers. These are called cisterna. Cisterna is the plural form. So each uh, sarcoplasmic reticulum has, you know, an expanded area. Uh, and um, uh, this is the t tubule in the middle and two expanded area, two cisterns together, all three of them are together that is called the triad. So triad is the t tubule and the two cisterns of sarcoplasmic reticulum which is unique uh, to the skeletal muscle because the cardiac muscle and smooth muscle uh, they don't have uh, the triad. And uh, now is the myofibril itself, so you can see this is the inside of the um, muscle fiber, so it contains a lot of these uh, myofibrils um, uh, that is wrapped by the sarcoplasmic reticulum and by uh, the T-tubules. So uh, this myofibril is made of the thin filament, which is this red one, and the thick filament, which is these uh, uh, dark blue ones. And this is important for the contraction of the muscle. 